Hi, in this screencast I'd like to show you the new CSS DSL feature that came out in Tornado FX 143. So let's start with a new Maven project. Let's add Tornado FX as a dependency. So 143 is the latest version. Now let's define a simple view. Let's let's create a, a login screen. So we'll create a package for this and a new view. So let's call it login screen. So this is going to be a view and let's define our root node as a VBox. And with this VBox, we're going to add some more UI elements. Okay, let's add um, a username field. And a password field. Below that, let's add a login button. Okay, to run our application, we need to implement the app class as well. And we need to tell it the primary view of the application. And that's going to be our login screen. Let's create a run configuration. Let's try and run the application. It's up and running, but it looks ugly. Okay, okay, let's try to change that. First of all, we're going to add a title to the top of the screen. Next thing we're going to do is introduce a style sheet. So let's call this styles. That's going to extend style sheet. So let's start by defining a selector for labels. We'll say that uh, labels should have a min width of 100 pixels. Next in our app class, we're going to override the init method and import the style sheet. Let's try it. It's working. All right, so back in our style sheet, we'd like to add a wrapper class to, uh, to the root VBox. So we'll define our classes in the, in the companion object of the style sheet. And we'll say that wrapper is a CSS class to make it type safe. Now we can uh, add this wrapper class to the, the root VBox simply by doing add class styles wrapper. I'm going to import that to make it look nicer and go back in the style sheet and define this wrapper selector. And actually now we can move this label selector into the wrapper so that the min width will only apply to labels inside the wrapper. Next let's add some padding to the wrapper itself. Let's say 15 pixels on all four borders in all four directions and see if it works. Great. Now let's do something about these rows because they're way too close together. So we'll add a row CSS class. And actually we can define that inside the wrapper as well. So rows inside wrapper should have uh, a padding and uh, well, let's say um, 10 pixels vertical padding and 5 pixel horizontal padding. Now we need to apply this row class actually to all the H boxes or all the children actually of the root V box. So there is a shortcut for that. Children add class styles row. That's actually the same as saying children for each 
It's out of glass roll, but it's a bit nicer. All right, let's try that. So it worked, but you know, as you can see, you know, the, the there's too much space here. Also, it's a bit tedious to, to stop and start the application all the time. So let's go back to the app class and say, reload start sheets on focus. It's going to help us a bit. Now let's start it. We can see the horrible padding. Let's actually just make it five pixels on all, all in all directions. That helped. Great. Now let's add a bit flatter look to this. So um, let's define actually a mix in. We'll call it flat. It's going to be a mix in, and it's going to contain some some uh, properties. So let's say the background insets should be zero pixels. And uh, we want to apply this mix in right now. Let's add it to button and uh, text input. And we simply add the mix in like this. That will add everything inside the mix in inside here. Okay. Since we added uh, this field, I don't know if we'll get it. Oh, well, actually, it worked. We didn't need to restart. If you add something to the companion object, you're going to have to restart the application. Now, it worked, but it didn't look quite good, so let's also add a border to this flat look. And we're going to do that by defining a border color, and on all, all um, sides we're going to use the same color, so let's do light gray, light gray, that looks better. Now let's add the background to, to the wrapper itself. We can add that here, for example. Background color is going to be color. What can it be? Antique white, maybe. Yeah, that's horrible. Great. Uh, okay, so I think you get the, the hang of it now. You can see how easy it is to define the application and to work with the, the type safe uh, style sheets. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this and uh, look forward to, to seeing what you can do with this. Bye.